Hey girl, welcome to the Wig Cap, your weekly drag race recap show hosted by me, Jordan. This week, bitch, we are uncovering, unveiling, and recapitulating season 12, episode 12. This is a very special episode as it is the final maxi challenge of the season that will decide who moves on to the grand finale. This episode literally starts with the ghost of Heidi and Closet turning off the lights on all the girls. Going, especially going forward and like, to have to be the person to... Oh, oh my god. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, okay. I'm blessed to have a favor. I mean, that's what they said, but they probably just forgot to pay the bill. So the girls go to the untucked lounge just to kiki until the lights come back. Once again, it looks like Jackie just does not cut her lace fronts at all. But she does mention that RuPaul did say on the runway that this is the strongest top six he'd ever seen, which I agree with. I have to say this season, season 12 specifically, is one of my favorite scenes of Drag Race. It's like up there with season six and All Stars 2 for me. I said what I said. So the lights don't come on until the next day in the workroom where the girls walk in and finally clean off the lipstick message, but like in boy clothes, which is kind of weird for me to see. RuPaul enters and tells the girls that for this week's mini challenge, they'll have to design a headdress and look like a Vegas showgirl look in 30 minutes and they'll have to get into quick drag and present it. This is baffling to me because, uh, you know, I'm fast. I get into drag very quickly compared to a lot of people that I know. But 30 minutes is not a lot of time, even for me, and some of these girls look incredible for 30 minutes, and I'm just like, did you really get 30 minutes? Or is that like 30 drag queen minutes? Because that's like an hour and a half. So what is the truth? Gigi wins the mini challenge, and for her prize, she gets an all-expenses-paid trip for two to go to Vegas and see the show. I wonder how that's gonna work. So for the final maxi challenge of the season, RuPaul tells the girls that they're going to do a performance to a medley of songs from the RuPaul's Drag Race live from Vegas at the Flamingo Hotel show, girl. And they're gonna write an original verse and perform it. This sort of challenge I live for. Okay, listen, I really need to talk about this performance. It was arguably my favorite performance on an episode of RuPaul's Drag Race ever in the history of RuPaul's Best Friend Race. I said it. Just this first section alone of the number where the girls come out on their entrance looks. Okay, I wasn't initially feeling the entrance looks, but I did understand why they mattered and that whole, the whole point was them entering. So of course they asked them to wear their entrance looks again. I just want to see more fashion. Is that is that okay? Like, is that too much? But look, despite that, this gave me all the musical theater shenanigans that I expect and want from RuPaul's Drag Race. The girls sounded great. I know Michelle Visage was watching this with a fistful of Jergens. Yes! Yes! This whole section was so fun to watch, and the music is so catchy. So it fades away, and the girls come back, and it's like a boudoir setting, and it's like the song about looking at themselves in the mirror, which drag queens are very good at. I felt like it was such a tender and beautiful moment. I know I'm an Aries, so this is very difficult for me to say. But it was just so beautiful, and they sang so well. All these girls sounded great, vocally. Like, they all can sing. I was shook by Gigi's voice. She, like, belted a note and they sang harmonies, bitch. What? But this definitely was my favorite section of this performance. Now the final section is where they have their rap verses and it opens up with Jackie entering and doing her little choreo that she was struggling with earlier, trying to not look like a, a fucking dad. And she turned it. I felt like she looked great. I felt like she did a good job. I don't know, I'm not a strong dancer myself, so like if I could get to that level of performance and like sell it that well, I'd be okay with that. Crystal came in and Michelle Visage later says that she doesn't really get the look that she wore for this challenge, but I immediately was like, oh, it's a flapper. It's a 1920s flapper and it's neon because it's crystal method. It's like an interpretation. It's like a futuristic flapper. I get it. I'm smelling what you're stepping in, girl. Gigi came out in this like red Valentine's Day outfit with like a heart bodice thingy and chaps. I love it. It was so chic and so cool and the hair matched perfectly. Jada came out looking incredible as she always does. Granted, she was wearing like a you know a little dance costume, but the boots matched and the details were there, and there were little swaggy parts. So it was a very well embellished leotard. I will say she was probably the weakest vocally throughout this entire thing for me, but she's really selling it, and I'm here for it. Okay, let's get into this runway. This week's category was eleganza extravaganza. Say that five times fast. My tops this week were Gigi and Jada. 
Gigi came out in this sort of blue tuxedo gown outfit. It kind of reminded me of the tuxedos that they wore in the movie Dumb and Dumber, but it was like tuxedo up top, skirt with a train on the bottom, and she had like this funky headgear thing, and it was fun and campy and cute. And Jada walked out looking like a goddess out of Coming to America. The proportions and the way her clothes fit her is just like so sickening. I could not handle it. And the hair, just every detail was considered and correct. Okay, my only bottom this week on the runway, I will say, is Jackie. I wanna preface this by saying, I did not hate her runway look. But when I think about it compared to all the other girls and how Crystal came out and Jada came out and how Gigi came out, Jackie's was my least favorite. All in all, I didn't think it was bad, I just thought it wasn't, like I didn't live for it in the way that I lived for the other ones. Okay, so Crystal and Jackie end up in the bottom two this week, which makes sense, just because track record. And they have to lip sync to the song On the Floor by JLo featuring Pitbull, Mr. Worldwide. This was such a strange song choice for this week, but they both kind of turned it and made it really fun and made the best of it. I would have just done the whole thing sitting on the floor because it's on the floor, so why not just sit? But I'm also an asshole, so there's that. Okay, so Crystal wins the lip sync and Jackie ultimately gets sent home. Here's the thing. She was the only person left with no challenge wins. I think she kind of knew that the writing was on the wall at this point, that like, you know, it didn't really matter what happened in the lip sync. She was kind of out. Okay, now there is a lot of uncertainty regarding the next few weeks of Drag Race. What we know as of the time of me recording this video is that next week will be a reunion and it's described as a virtual slumber party hosted by RuPaul where all the girls will be filming it from home. So that's one thing we have to look forward to. As for the following week for the finale, we don't know a whole lot. It's being positioned as a top three finale as Sherry is disqualified and though she made it to the top four, now they're saying it's a top three. My hope is that Jackie will be allowed to come back for the finale. I don't know if they're even gonna address the Sherry Pie thing during the finale, or if they're just gonna pretend it never happened. I have no idea. I'm excited to see what happens, and we're gonna talk about it as soon as it does, so. It'll be fun, I think. Anyways, that's all I have for you this week. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up this video, and click all of my social media links in the description, and follow me everywhere. Send me naughty DMs, because I'm bored. Okay, I'm gonna go make regular cookie dough into edible cookie dough by eating it. Thank you so much again for watching, and until next week, have a fabulous life. Bye bye